we're going to make today candied orange peel. I use them a lot in my dessert, sometimes in my savory dishes. But especially for the vegan, I find out when I use candied orange peel, the one you make at home, you can t easily take the, the place of uh, egg in a cake or a dessert, give it this nice moisture, nice lemony taste, and also give it a nice color. So how do you make candied orange peel? By the way, candied orange peel by itself is just a fabulous dessert. I'm going to show you how. Plus, you're going to waste the, the peel anyway, so might as well use them. So we're just now going to peel the uh, orange like you're going to eat it, which I will do when I'm done. You don't want to waste anything. You get your vitamin C. And I don't take the white part out. I leave everything. Who has time? And this is a really nice juicy orange. We're going to use the orange also to make some um, salad dressing, which we'll do it later. Let me get a plate for this. Okay, so now you have your basic candied orange peel, the one you're going to waste throw away, but we are not going to. So basically you have water. First steps is you want to take the bitterness out of the orange peel. Cut them any shape you like. So if you're going to use them to puree in dessert or if you check our uh, YouTube about the vegan creme caramel. Show you how to use them. Or if you want to make them as dessert. So what I do, just make a nice cut. About half inch wide. Take a pecan or almond. We have this design, or you can do it this way. A pecan, toothpick. I'm going to hold it for a second. This this cut and this one lengthwise, so this way we'll put the pecan and try to go all the way down to hold it. And this one we can do it with nothing. And that by itself would be a fabulous dessert. And since my daughter made fun of my enjoy, I'm not going to say enjoy, I'm just going to say bon appetit. Okay, so we have this one, we're going to grind, to, or you can have them dessert by themselves when they uh, candy to drop them in dark chocolate, which is my favorite. Or you have the one with pecan, you can do with almond, and you boil them for about five, you bring it to boil, and then you boil it for about five minutes, and you throw that one, that water away, because that's the water has all, washed all the bitterness out of the orange peel. You can do the same, by the way, in uh, lemon and would be really good if you make one pot with lemon, one pot with oranges, candy them separately, and then put them in a nice platter for dessert. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we, we boiled the orange peel in the water for about, after it came to boil for about five minutes on simmer, and you see, as you see some of them still close. This one, this one came open, and don't worry about it. You can always do it again after you candied it. Now we have here, Two, it's like we're making normal syrup. Two cups of water, two cups of sugar, one and a half cup of water, and I'm going to just, and then drop this in them. Put it on the stove, bring it to boil, and after it boil, I turn the heat down and let it simmer for about 10-15 minutes, sometimes more, 20 minutes. 
you see the candied orange peel become almost translucent and the, the sauce or the syrup thicken and then you let it cool down and then we'll see after that so we we boiled the candied orange we boiled the peel to make them candied orange peel and in the sugar and after the sauce thickens see it's kind of sticky you take it and let it cool until completely cold it's it's really dangerous to touch any of the syrup while it's hot and then when it's cold you see this one you can take them out of the syrup and let them dry air dry and then you can uh, uh, dust them with powdered sugar or coarse sugar or cocoa powder that's by itself is a dessert what I, for, for me what I do I usually save these and leave them in the syrup and just whenever a recipe called uh, for um, orange marmalade or anything I use them and then for your dessert just think of a, just a this is by itself a dessert look how nice they look you can this one has nothing inside but you can easily take a nice piece of chocolate and put it inside and you eat it or we have the one with the pecan you take the toothpick out and it stays see how nice or you can do an, just a crust of uh, tart, just any tart crust. Put some of, uh, nice fresh ricotta on it and then put this around it. And that's make a nice refreshing dessert. My favorite is to put a almond, toasted almond dipped in chocolate inside and then you just eat it. We have to try it. So good. I hope you, you come to like it as much as I do. By the way, the syrup is very good with ice cream too. I love ice cream. Bon appetit!